Hey YouTubers, uh, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's uh, Coral Friday episode, um, I actually picked up three uh, new specimens of corals. So I actually got two chalices and uh, one monopora. So I'm going to show you these uh, three new specimens. Uh, I can't wait to get them out of the bags that are actually been acclimating there for a few hours. Uh, I like to take my time with the acclimation. So I'm going to show you these uh, three new specimens and show you where I'm going to place them and why. So next thing I got to do right now is I got to take them down to the, the fish lab there and we're going to give them some uh, revive uh, coral dip for a bit make sure we don't have any pests want to get into the display tank so that's the next thing we're going to do right now so you guys can see uh the three bags that are floating in the tank right now so we're going to take them downstairs and uh the check them out eggs i got here show you guys so this is called the the hulk monopora it's a little bit different than the regular like plating corals it's more of a, a bumpier encrusting coral that grows over the rock more so it needs more area to grow so that's the hulk uh green nia monopora the next one we got here is a, it's called a pink Sriastria coral. If you can see the little bumps on it right there, they're all pink. And it's actually all pink itself, but the little uh, the bumps are like a really, really pink. Can't wait to see what they are going to look like underneath the, the T5s and the, under the radions. All right, guys. So the third one is a pink watermelon chalice. I can't wait to get this one in the tank. It's hard to really tell right now, but you can see it's starting to crust over the rock here. So it's going to be, I can't wait to see what that's going to look like in the tank. So that's the pink watermelon chalice. So I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna glue all these in their tank right now, and I'll show you where I'm gonna glue them up and why and which areas. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I end up, I got all three uh, frags mounted there right now, so I'm gonna show you the location. Um, the application I used uh, to glue these on was the Ecotech uh, glue. Um, they sent me samples, so I used those. It worked really well, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, the area I put them in, the reason why. All right guys, so let's right, take guys, a tour. So this is the pink watermelon chalice, so you guys can see it right there. I zoom in for you. So this is gonna be really sweet underneath the, the blue lights. So I stuck in this area, it's just on the side of a rock. So with the uh, chalices, they don't like too much direct light. They like it so they can sort of grow wherever they wanna grow. So this way I have them on the side of the rock, he can grow out if he wants to go more into the light or if he wants to go into the crevices. Usually chalices, they even look uh, more beautiful when there's not as much light, it's really weird. So let's move on to the, let's move on to the next one. Hulk uh, neon green uh, monopora. I glue it right on the back of the glass, so right now it's not directly under the light, and it's on. It has like a medium flow area, so that's really good. So this will encrust, and with monoporas, you want to leave lots of room so they don't shade out your other corals. So this one will have a lot of room to, a lot of room to encrust and grow. So let's move on so to the next one. Here's the pink sastria coral. So you guys can see it's pink, and then it has the little bumps on it, and they're even more pink. So that's that's the Sassier coral. I put in this area, it's not directly in the light, it's shadowed, it's the same kind of ordeal, it's an encrusting coral. So this way it can grow any way it wants to go, any pattern it wants to go. So that's why I put it in this area. So let's turn the blue lights on and see what these look like under the blue lights. All right guys, so let's bring these blues down here. We'll start, there's 14K, 20K. So under the 20K is looking pretty cool. 5K, so let's go all blues can bring that in see there we go that's what it looks like under all the blues and then when I got it on just blue let's go polyfluorescent check her out it's hard to tell I need a filter but you guys can get the idea of what's cooking here it's a pretty sweet looking coral guys so let's move on to the next coral and check it out. So we got the pink watermelon chalice. So let's start bringing it down here. See if we get the colors to pop on it. So now we got all blues on. It's really bright, it's hard to tell. But you guys can get the idea. There's under the blues. If my Naso Tang would stop photo bombing. There you go, I'll try to bring it in a little closer there guys. So there you go, that's the pink watermelon chalice under the blue lights. I got that one just on blues. So let's try to bring her back to all blues. So I got her in close here. Yeah, so it looks pretty sweet guys. Let's go deep blue. Let's go polyfluorescent. So there you go guys. 
That's the pink watermelon chalice. So let's move on to the, the Neon Hulk. Right, so we got the Neon Hulk uh, Monopora. It's a pretty sweet looking coral. So that's, I got a glue on the back. So let's bring it in and let's, uh, let's go through the color settings here. Sammy keeps photobombing. So let's go. There's 12K. Let's go all blues. Deep blue. Let's go polyfluorescent. So let's bring you guys in close here. See how bright that is? That's the neon hall right there, guys. All right, guys. So that's three corals I got for tonight to show you guys. Let's bring that back out. Let's bring the colors all back up. There we go. All right, guys. So, you know, that's Coral Friday's episode for this week. I really hope you guys like this episode. I hope you guys like the corals I got there. They're really sweet looking corals. I can't wait for them to crest and over the rock and get some really nice display uh, tank pieces. Um, if there's any other corals you guys would like to see uh, for next week or any weeks following, um, just hit me up. Leave my comments below. Um, and I will try to get them for my tank and uh, show you guys and describe and tell you all about them. Um, another thing is too, you can join the Farm Boy uh, Reef Club on Facebook. Um, you know, send me your request, uh, either myself or uh, Pines8411. Um, he's in administration. He will definitely uh, accept you guys. So I hope you guys come and uh, join the club. We just hit over a thousand members today. It was really exciting. A lot of great guys and uh, women on there. They're definitely uh, really into the hobby. So I hope you guys like this episode. Uh, please tune in next week. You never know what I'm going to find. All right, guys? So please subscribe and hit the like button and have a good one. Bye.